Hi, it's Mel Eves, 11 Sports. And uh, we've recently spoken about the World Cup and the fact that we felt the England players didn't move as well as some of the other players, especially when they played the Germans. Um, and that comes down to, I've always said it, footballers don't run properly. Probably because they're never taught to run. Uh, they're taught to play football, but they're actually taught the individual technique. Uh, and this is what we... This is what we're here for today, and I'm with Roger Walters, the running wizard. And we're going to really explain, or Roger is going to explain, regarding chunking down to the techniques uh, that, we, that uh, we're talking about. Yes, Mel, uh, between the two of us, we've discussed this on kind of many occasions. When we've been to matches together, you've looked at it from a perspective as the, the kind of football coach and products. And I'm always hopping on about this guy doesn't run properly, foot contacts are in the wrong place, he's not using his arms, he's not leaning forward. Uh, from an athletics coaching perspective, where it meets football, it's looking at the individual requirements of the players, some might overstride, some might understride, shuffle if you like, and bringing the kind of trained eye of the sprints coach and developing around that individual their um, requirement for drills. And by drills we mean taking the whole range of movement, the style model if you like, breaking it down to its individual component parts and rehearsing those individual component parts um, correctly. Um, saying in athletics is practice makes permanent and uh, the only way that you can be perfect is if you're practicing perfectly. So perfect practice makes permanently perfect. If you just pay lip service to the drills, all that happens is that you practice things incorrectly, the brain map becomes incorrectly programmed and you get a, a football or an athlete, a tennis player, rugby player, call it what you like, doing things incorrectly. So it's the trained eye of the coach looking at the individual needs of the, of the footballer, bringing in the required training program, drills, um, running over various distances, but not looking at the uh, a sprinter's training program and just bringing it straight over. It's a modified sprinting program, uh, all based around the individual needs of that particular player. And that's what we do with drills. And um, so you can bring that into a football team, footballers will become faster, become more proficient, more economical with their energy systems, will be able to play further through the match quicker, be a more valuable asset to the club and a more valuable asset to their teammates. Simple as that.